안녕하세요 여러분, Tony입니다. Hello everyone, it's Tony. So following up on the two title tracks in the two music videos that Epic High has just released for their 10th studio album titled Epic High is Here, we are finally going to be looking at, I think, the probably the most hyped up track from this entire album being Acceptance Speech because it is featuring ex-leader B.I. So ex-leader of Icon B.I. Hanbin and I think a lot of people are really excited for this because there are a lot of Hanbin fans out there and it's always really cool to see what he's been up to since he's kind of like taken a step back from the limelight. So really excited to be finally checking out another song by him and usually whenever it comes to his music it's very I think special so I'm really excited for it and it, by the way if you want to go check out my reaction to the last two title tracks released by Epic High as well as lesson zero both all three of which are absolutely amazing lyrics are so powerful music is amazing beat is really cool and very diverse if you want to go check out all of them they'll all be linked in the description box below hopefully you guys check them out but with that being said let's not waste any more time and let us get into the magic that is going to be acceptance speech okay okay so in comparison to say rosario or even based on a true story or even lesson zero this is very different we're opening with mithra usually in the past if it was a rapper it would open with tableau and even the kind of like vibe of this song feels like more modern day in comparison to whatever other songs they've been going with the album it feels more city-esque street-esque almost there's no lyrics oh that's cool interesting it's very like chill vibes rapper i would say 1990s to 2000s vibe it's really different in comparison to the other vibes that I've been getting from Mithra, and it definitely shows a diversity in his style of rapping, which is very nice. Ooh, it's B.I. His voice is so like smooth. It's a bit smoky too. I think it has this kind of like soothing aspect, this calming aspect to it. And it has this kind of like lightness also. It has a bit of like, almost I would say a female tone slightly, which really makes it stand out in comparison to this kind of like deep, dark kind of tone that the music is. Very smooth, very jazzy. Uh huh. So this is Tableau. If I'm correct. I think it's yeah. It should be Tableau. I like the fact that they kind of like really brought forward that kind of like distorted beat that we're getting. This kind of like nighttimey vibe beat. It's really brought forward in throughout the song because it was very less prevalent in the background more at the beginning but then it's like slowly graduating and then once after bi's part it became very prevalent now it's a cool kind of like transition it was a slow transition but it really makes the song pop i think it really makes tableau's voice here really even though it's very much like more aggressive and much louder than the other ones kind of feel the same level of like mutedness <laughs> This is definitely like an evening, nighttime, chill vibe song, I think. This is Tableau. So wait, maybe that wasn't Tableau. Maybe it was Myth. I don't know. Who who did that chorus? Let me know if you know, because I think I'm a bit confused. <laughs> Came back to this like... Oh, oh. Damn right. I really enjoy Tableau's rapping. Although here I wish that we got maybe more BI. I feel like, see, we're already halfway through and we only got a tiny bit. I wish like this little section here could have been given to BI. 
It feels like this part section here is kind of like, you know, like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air era, kind of like boop, 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 you know. Feels like old school hip hop now. Woo, yo. Honestly, the rapping is great. Tableau and Mytha really hold it down with the rapping, but B.I. is the highlight for this song for me. His voice is just so nice it's so crispy it's so like warming i feel it's like it's it comforting to an extent for me and with this like nighttime jazzy vibe just fits perfectly um, this he really leading into the pre-chorus in the chorus course is really nice after that it's really smooth is this bi it actually might be bi he might do he actually is doing some rapping i think that's pretty cool i like it the show goes on I swear, I bet you B.I. had a big part to do with the lyrics and I can't wait to check out the lyrics here because I think right here, it's like when he's saying the show must go on and on, I think it's a reference to maybe his icon days and like the scandal that happened there. And it's like, you know, the show must go on and stuff has to happen for that. And I think, I feel like maybe this here is kind of a look into his icon days, a bit about his past life, I think. It'll be interesting to find out the lyrics because knowing the powerfulness that Tableau's lyrics had, I can only imagine what Mithra brings to the table and what B.I. brings to the table. Being the composer is for like basically Icon's most famous song in my opinion. So, you know, I I think that this one has a very powerful meaning behind it also. Oh, and even the title, like Acceptance Speech, it's probably... A reference to like bi just accepting where he's at now in life i feel like there's a lot of stuff that the lyrics would shed light on it's really i think something that you have to know the lyrics for. it's cool his rapping is kind of like aggressive here it's like not what i was expecting it's very different from his like softness it has like that care like the, sh the softness still but he's getting more and more aggressive it's him with mithra that's who it is And you can distinctify it. That's an interesting way to end it off too. Just like kind of cuts, but it's very kind of reminiscent of that era of like, say, hip hop rap era. It's like, you know, very just cut at the end and done. And it's very abrupt, but I think that at the same time, it's kind of like how you want to end off a memory, an unpleasant memory. You just accept it and move on. So I think that's maybe even to a further extent kind of a representation of the lyrics to, for that. But overall, awesome song. Still by far, B.I. is the highlight for me for this song. His vocals here just add this like small softness, this like soothing portion to the song. Very like clean, very elegant, and just bring something to this song that I think would be missing otherwise. And usually in these songs where there's like a lot of rapping, I really look for these like really nice vocals and this is true here. It's very nice, very clean and BI just brings it to the table here again. And I cannot wait to get my hands on the lyrics for this because I bet you that it's very special and it's really cool. So guys, let me know so far from this entire album, Epic High is here. What's your favorite track? Is it this BI track? Is it another track? Are you excited for the potential that BI comes back to Icon? All of these, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to get your take on it. Let's not take away from too much from Epic High, but you know, I do understand that this is also a, another chance for us to see BI. So totally understandable. With that being said, guys, as I mentioned, if you want to go check out my other reactions to the Epic High videos that they recently released, Lesson Zero, Rosario, as well as Based on a True Story, it'll all be linked in the description box down below. Hopefully you check out a video. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Gam Samnida. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or something you want to talk, feel free to leave in the comment section below, and I'll get to you as soon as possible. With that being said, guys, I've been Tony. Annyeonghaseyo. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video. Annyeong!